tree. Oh yeah, yeah. And this one too. Wow, this is, they're both really quite uh, dangerous trees. Luckily they didn't fall. It burns right down around here. And, uh, oh, convenient pile of logs. It is, oh, and just the rich Dom, undergrowth. Dominic, uh, and I think Brad, but mainly Dom, had those all in the ground right here. Oh, to stop erosion and stuff? Yeah. And, uh, well, actually he made a, uh, and then this one was the front one, and it was up, uh, oh, about this height here. Kind of like a and causeway? So this was right up to here, and then all those were filling in. This was a yoga deck, and so this is like the <laughs> perfect, and it was yeah. had a grassy knoll. I can see that. Right here. That's very but cool. But I guess he filled it in with, like, all kinds of duck. And somehow the fire started right here. That's, um, that happened at my house, actually. Just, like, some fertilizer at the base of some pine trees started burning. And actually, right across the condo across from us, burnt, like, two whole trees up. Could have wow. burnt down the whole building. Wow. So, and yeah, then it was uh, awesome. spread through, through the undergrowth in here. And right over to the front side. Crazy. I broke this. I, I made a channel here so they could get the hose right through. Yeah. And uh, they did a great job. Those guys are amazing. Yeah, I saw the fire trucks going out and I called uh, the municipality just asked if they wanted me to put like a don't drive out there yeah. oh, thing on. Yeah, anytime all three fire trucks go out, you know, there's something going down. Yeah. Tough city. Yep. Groovy. Yep. Well, at least uh, very clearly nobody was injured. That's no. the bottom line. Yeah, that's for sure. And it, yeah, it, I would, at first I was afraid the pyramid was going. Yeah. But, uh, it's okay, although, you know, now John's uh, been here, he's going to be interested in... Uh, and there's going to be some snooping around with fire codes yeah, and things like that. Yeah, oh, yeah, he'll check out all the bylaws. And, yeah, that's... And, and it's only fair, you know, because uh, if I don't know every person that's here and, and, and their capability with a campfire, yeah. then, then I am liable yeah. to her. I am, you know, the responsible yeah. person. And I... Uh, Apparently the fire started a couple of days ago. Somebody just smoldering. They did, right? Yeah, they started the fire. Somebody and they noticed this uh, burn yeah. and smoldering, and uh, they they poured water and uh, put it out. But I guess it went into that dump. Yeah. And uh, just and, uh, lit back up again. Going. And then today, uh, luckily a Japanese friend was just camped right down right from here. Yeah. And he came up and called the alarm. We got up here. We rushed, we 30, 40. Yeah, I saw a bunch at the bottom the there water too. Water coming up. Uh, many times they came up, and we, we managed to contain the whole perimeter, so it didn't expand. And yeah. then these guys came and just Got soaked it. it. Must have been hundreds, of, maybe two, three, five hundred gallons. Yeah. See the fire retardant foam still yeah, there. And then after after that, they they went through and. and That's uh, just to keep it from lighting up again, theoretically. It, it kind of seals. They sent it seals the surface, and it's a uh, surfactant that. Uh, Somehow sinks in and, um, and, and seals it and sinks it in there. Yeah, it just but looks like it's a sealant. Yeah, it just looks like dish soap. Yeah, interesting. It's a special stuff. Uh, apparently, they used to use goat intestine at one time <laughs> to uh, make this uh, have this effect. Really? Water. Well, thanks for the tour, man.